if you think that I'm going to be open arms to you after everything that you have done, you're crazy. So I want to catch up with you about life since we saw you last on The Other Way. I think people's opinion of you has changed for the better. I don't think people really understand, but it, it is hard, I guess, because it's all in control of the producers and it's all control of the editing team. So you don't choose what they see or what they don't. I feel like I got a lot of hate on the first season. And then on the second season, I got a little less hate, but I, I didn't like it either because it's like, I didn't want people to see me as, as a victim or something, or like people will relate with me because of what I went through with Corey. No, like I'm just not a bad person. I mean, we started the show in 2018. So after a few years, it did got to me because people is always like, oh, you're too skinny. Now they're saying that I'm too big. The whole time it's like, Corey deserves better. He deserves better. And it's like, you don't, you don't know me. At some point it just got to me and it made me feel very bad and like insecure. And I didn't like that. And you know, I'm just on TV for your entertainment. We just don't know what we're getting ourselves into. At least I can tell you from my experience, I have no clue. I never filmed anything before. Are we gonna see you on TV again soon? Well, maybe on TV. Right now we haven't really talked uh, much with the 90 day world, but we've been talking with other, other networks. We are doing other projects, you know, like we're building stuff and, and we would like to show that as well. That, yeah, that's good. I really wanted to talk about that because I know that your restaurant, your beachside bar is doing really well. Tell yeah. me how, what is, what is it like working with your husband? Corey and I have been together for nine years, so we're very used to each other. And <laughs> yeah, it, I mean, it's pretty cool whenever I need something, like I need to run an idea by somebody, I always run it by him. And whenever he has something to mention, I always listen because I know he wants the best interest for both of us. So it, it's good, it's good. And how has this support been in terms of the community? supporting your business it's amazing because right now we have 12 people employed and mm -hmm. we're about to open a new business so we're gonna employ more people and they're very happy and we really like supporting the community so it's all local people and also whenever we go eat in a restaurant it's in a restaurant around here we purchase our stuff in here so we try to make everything like local source i know that corey was in the u.s to get supplies and he teased that you guys have a new business what exactly is it so we haven't really do like the full reveal but we've been busy all these months in construction and and everything so basically we get a we get a lot of visits from fans from the u.s it's always fun when when fans come because we drink with them we sit down we have a chat they have to take photos so we're like uh what about we offer a little bit more of a an experience of this so now we're gonna have accommodation so they can stay with us and another restaurant another beachfront area we're building a infinity pool right now so we're trying a 90 day package kind of thing so fans can get um in a special price you know and like things like that we want to make the i mean we're travelers so we know what the experience of a traveler I love yeah. how the 90 day fans are getting, you know, special treatment because they're kind of hardcore. <laughs> First, we want to just work with 90 day world and see how it goes because you're inviting them basically to your home. So it's yeah. all like, all right, let's, let's manage this proper. It's our first time having accommodation. We really know uh, more now about restaurant and bar, but accommodation, we're brand new. So we're excited to, to try it out. That's exciting. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be a success because you guys get a lot of support. And I'm still going to be here for a couple more years, I believe, but I'm doing my paperwork for the U.S. So when I'm there, I'm thinking about maybe doing the, the same there too, you know, like maybe. Oh, so is it that you want to, you're going to stay in Ingeboa for a little while and then you might move permanently to the U.S.? Yeah, I mean, I'm required to stay there at least six months a year mm -hmm. during the process so i will make sure i can do that you know because i still have businesses here so i want to yeah. make sure i can go back and forth because you know it's important you'll be my primary home because i will have to spend the most time there 
uh, at least for three years. And it's exciting, it's scary. And I definitely do not want to live in the woods, so. <laughs> yeah, because where does Corey, where in the U.S. does Corey live? It's in a very small town uh, close to Portland. It's like 45 minutes away from Portland, but on the Washington side. Mm -hmm. So just in the middle of nowhere, like you don't see neighbors, nothing. It's just trees. I remember they were like deers and, and turkeys around. On my first day I arrived, on the side of the road was a, a bear, like a gigantic black bear. And I was like, oh my God, so cute. I didn't know bears were dangerous either. So, you know, <laughs> I, I get out and I go play with the bear. And they were like, no, you cannot. And I guess it was so there, like small town in the US. People wasn't too outgoing. And Corey's family being Mormon, it's, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm not really religious. I believe in God, but I'm not gonna like convert. And Corey, every time he has a chance, it's always like, but we can stay with my mom, we can stay with my mom. But I just really don't like that idea. Like she's a sweetheart, she's yeah. nice. Even though I'm still mad about their family not coming to the wedding. But like, I Why still- Why did I, they come to the wedding though? Just didn't want to like i mean maybe the mom i'm gonna let it pass but the siblings they were like oh it's covid we cannot just leave our jobs like all that okay understandable we give them different dates for them to even choose the date for our wedding so it will match for them yeah no 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 three months after they are all in a cruise traveling around and it was covid so if a cruise somebody got COVID in the cruise, you were on lockdown. So yeah. if you have time to go for like 10 or 15 days on a cruise, why couldn't you come to your brother's wedding? Like, yeah. For me, I couldn't care less if they were here or not, but Corey was crying on the yeah. wedding day. So that was sad. So how is he now in terms of the relationship with his family after that happens? Yeah, I mean, I guess USA families maybe be different because for me, like my family's very close and like all the families are very close here. Um, but for him, they don't talk much, but I know it got better now that he went and visit. Like, he sit down with them and talk with them. And I think they're doing better now. Oh, that's good. And what about your sisters and Corey? Because I remember <laughs> that. What did they feed him in that soup? Was it, was it pink balls? What was it? <laughs> to, to be honest, to be fully honest, now they are under contract. Like those kind of situations mm -hmm. are to be like, they always need this fish out of the water. That's how they call it, fish out of the water moments. Yeah. And my sister would choose for the fish out of the water moment. It's not like it came from their hearts to fit the, this bowl, bowl soup, but oh, it is pretty common in Ecuador and men do have it. That I have it all the time. It's mm -hmm. supposed to be like manly and stuff. So yeah, it's supposed to be good, but it's men who, who take it. Yeah. So are they getting along better with Corey now, the sisters, your sisters? They do, you know. I don't think they will be too bothered if Corey and I were to break up. <gasps> <laughs> so we see each other often, we surf together, but Corey still doesn't really try. It's like, it makes him upset. It's like, Try to communicate with them. Try to learn Spanish, but... Oh, he still has not learned Spanish? It's very basic. It's just very, very basic. And for nine years, you know, you cannot talk with your sister-in-law about like, what's your favorite color? So what's his excuse though? Like, honestly, I gave up on it because nine years of me trying, I learned English and I can tell you if I had an Italian husband or whatever, I would know Italian. You seem to be doing much better since you got married. I see you guys on vacations and trips and stuff like that. So what have you been doing to kind of keep the, the relationship strong? Well, we try couples therapy. To be honest, I don't know how much that works because every time I will just get upset during couples therapy because like, you have to explain why you're upset. So then I get upset <laughs> again about the situation. <laughs> I think we decided to put these issues away, like in the in the past, and just yeah. move into the future, which is starting our new businesses and like hopefully building a home one day, going to the U.S. and him fixing his relationship with his family, 
I will say my trust is now back though. Like, I, it's just hard. Once trust is broken, trust is broken. Honestly, I wouldn't have been able to forget a cheating situation because yeah. in my, my, like, I know that it wasn't cheating because we agree on the separation. Like, what I was so mad about it is that he brought it on TV and that he brought her on TV without letting me know. And there was all these lies that she was from Peru, but she wasn't. She was from, from here, like an hour away from my town. Uh, all those things that she came to my hometown to to film for this, like, that broke me. It broke me because I was like, we're a team. You know how hard it was the first season. You should have given me a little bit of oh, heads up. You know, so you were blindsided. You didn't know that she was. They were gonna be on together or anything. No, no, not at all. They always oh. blind. Like I was blindsided on the first season, and on the first season I was blindsided with this situation about my friend, which it was a guy that I I hooked up with before I even knew Corey. So it had nothing to do with him. But then they come and, and do this whole situation where it makes it look like I cheated on Cordy when I didn't. And the worst part is that the producers tell you, we're gonna film a love story, get ready. So you're like all into this love mood and then boom, it crashes you down. It's oh. like, yeah. yeah. For anybody in reality, like they really need to check their mental health first because in a day you go from highs and lows, highs and lows. Uh, do you have any advice for persons who are coming into this 90 day fiance world? I think a lot of people want to do it because sometimes, like I, I don't get to read the messages all the time, but sometimes when I do questions and answers and things like that, people ask me like, how do you got in there? Like, how do I get there? I dated somebody from this country or yada yada and I want to get in there. But I will say just, they really need to work into their self love and the image they have of themselves because if not, they never know that in, in the stories, there's always gonna be one good guy, one bad guy. So you don't know which one you're gonna be. So if you happen to be the bad guy, you are gonna suffer a lot of hate and people are gonna try to turn down this image of you have that you have of yourself. So you really need to be strong on that. But it's gonna be hard the other way also because if the person you love is being the bad guy, you're also gonna hurt for them. So it's very damaging for a relationship, I will say, right? And some people I know try to do it for, I didn't know these things, but I, I learned it later. I know that there's sometimes production uh, shuts out production with couples because they realize they're fake couples, like trying to get in it. Oh. Hmm. I, I get inside. So there's been sometimes that they've been in another country filming people and then they realize like, Oh, they're actually were best friends and they're just pretending to be a couple and then they cancel the shooting. To me, I just feel like super normal being on 90 day. It's not something that I talk about. Like I don't go around my day and tell people like, oh, I'm on this show. Never. Like for me, it's just something so normal and I did it and that's it. And if, if we want to do another season, I'm more demanding now because now I know better. Do they prompt you guys? Like, you know, people keep saying reality TV is fake, but do they like prompt the conversation, like tell you what to say, like what to talk about? Not exactly, but yes, at the same time. So it will be more like, how do you feel about this situation? Or like, let's say I'm talking with my sister, right? Or like you and I are talking right now. And then they'll come, but like, Ali, but you forgot to ask this other situation. How do you feel about that? Tell her, tell her right now. And then, uh, but like, Evelyn, what do you think of her question? Like, does, how does it make you feel? Does it not make you feel this way or that way? Mm. Like, yeah, it does, it makes me feel this way. And then you go on on. So it is a little bit like these things in the middle. And I mean, they're with you with cameras in every conversation. And, in, in everything and they get they're so good in getting these things that will actually i don't know if they're so good or your partner betrays you on it and tells them what is the thing that will get you and when they get you they know exactly how to push those buttons too yeah that makes yeah. for good tv i suppose <laughs> want to, they wanted me to meet with this girl that corey was with during that time i was like hell no like, is that the same girl from Peru that we saw in the last season? Yeah. The, the one that was from Peru, that then it wasn't. The, yeah, that one. Oh, they wanted the, you and her to meet. Yeah. Oh, I Like, hell no. Like, 
Not at all. Do you what? watch any of the um any of the 90 Day Fiancé shows? I really like the single life. Okay. I always tell Corey, like, when I get upset, I'm like, you know what, like, we can just break up. You, you can go on a single life, like, be happy, because I know he loves being on TV. Talk to me about the tell-alls. Like, what is the feeling going into these tell <laughs> Everybody against everybody. It's like, you know, everybody yeah. trying to, like, step on the head of the other. Most of these cast members, because I got to know a few, because we don't like love games and stuff, so I have known a lot of cast members. I will say basically all of them just really, really, really love being on TV mm -hmm. and they whatever it takes. So they will come to you and they will be like, Hey, Evelyn, uh, I love you, but I'm going to destroy you today. And I don't care, that kind of thing. And or they are so mean to you because there's so many things that you film and then other things maybe don't get in there because maybe the reflection didn't found it interesting, but it still was her fault to you. And yeah, and then they're just normal about their day because they just wanna, everybody wants to land a pillow talk also. So I guess they wanna yeah. be very impressive. But I love a lot of cast members too. They're very <laughs> nice. I know there's gonna be something coming up with a lot of 90 days together. Mm -hmm. And I always fun to have like all the 90 day people like in a, reunion in the house because everybody a lot of people in there is a little bit cuckoo in the house. Mm -hmm. so is that a thing that we're thinking uh, around, around those lines i know there's something coming around those lines but not okay. like fun way how we yeah. like it they should do it on the fun way all right it was so much fun catching up with you evelyn it was fun too i'm glad to meet you you have a great great aura thank you